<laughs> Morning everybody. So this is Himalayan Persian Fendi. Mm, Fendi. Right, she's come to us this morning because she's pelted and had a good assess of her coat since she's been here. And she's got pelts pretty much all over, all down her sides here. She's not particularly happy about being touched. The worst places are all around from the back of her ears. These are like solid, absolutely solid lumps on her sides here and going under her chin and under her chest. So they will be causing her a lot of grief. This is why the, the cheeks are pushed forward because all this hair is huge. So this is going to be a really awkward job to get these off with them being so close to the face and the ears. They are just huge very very tight um, so we're gonna to have to attempt to get those off with the clippers so she's gonna have a line clip she's got more on her here as well solid the best thing is to do a line clip as I say I think most of the time will be spent trying to get these from her because they are not nice um, and we just hope she's gonna be a good girl for us don't we Fendi so we're gonna get started with the clippers Not too bothered about the sound of those. Good girl, eh? Yeah? You good girl? No, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. I know, they're hurting you, aren't they? I'm going to get those off for you. Okay, good girl. Let's make a start. She'll feel so much better with these gone, particularly these round her neck. They're not nice. They're like having, um, I always say they're like having a straight jacket on when they're on the body because it restricts movement and they pull and tear at the skin. But around the neck, she will have, it'll feel like huge growths. She won't be able to have that movement in her neck there. Good girl. So when they're off, she'll feel oh, full movement restored. So that's the top, more or less, off on uh, little Fendi. So we've hit the mat. Valentino, isn't it? No, it's Fendi. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Valentino's in there. Valentino. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting. This is Fendi. Um, so we've just hit the, the worst area. So we've got some off here. They weren't as tight. Here now we're on the pelts where they start to develop and go around the front of the head. So I'm just trying to get these off down the shoulders. Both sides, she's the same either side. All right, baby cakes. I know, girly whirly. I know, baby. I know, what a good girly you are. What a good girl. So these are very tight. Okay. No, baby cake, come on. No. Back on there. Oh, we've got to have it done, baby. We have. We've got to have those taken away, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Good girl. So we just take it slowly, take it at the cat's pace. Once she's settled again, we carry on. And then we'll make a start on these. These nasties. Aren't they? See if we can get anywhere here. Good girl. She's been good, really. She's been very good. And the hardest bit of anything to do with this when these are so tight is actually starting, getting underneath the first one. Um, This is a really tricky, tricky area. Good 
Good girl. No. So I'm back with Fendi. I'm just, I've had to put a collar on it, literally not because she's being naughty, but I need to get under her neck. So by putting the collar on, I'm just trying to keep her head to one side. It just clears me a little bit. All right, good girl to get into where I need to get into to do my clipping. Very good girl. So these are extremely close to the skin. And she is being very, very tolerant of this. Good girl. So what I'll have to do, that's actually come off that little bit. I've got the collar literally just over the end of her head just to try and uh, so I can do a little bit of manoeuvring because these are so far up her face. I know, baby girl, you're being such a good girly for me. Let's move you to that side so I can get in here now. Good girl. She'll feel relieved when these are off. Good girly. Good girly. Good girl. Good girl. You are. I know, baby cakes. Right, let's take that off a second. Let's have a little look. Good girl. Mm, now we've got to just see if we can get into here. Now we've made a bit of leeway into the Good girl. What a good girl. There we go, we got through part of it there. Oh, what a good girl. So that's still quite a bit on there, but that's come off from under that chin. I'll just give her a little rub. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, we can actually get to a chin and have a tickle. What a good girl you've been there for me. Hey, okay, what a good girl. I bet that feels tons better. Okay, good girly. Right, let's see if we can get the rest of it off. Mm. I know, baby. You can't tell what's you and what's fluff cut off. And <laughs> you're all a big fluff ball, aren't you? Hey, yes, that's a good girl. Let's see if we can get this side off as well. You'll be feeling so much better, aren't you? Hey, good girlie. Oh, she's a good girl. There she is. Do you know she's ever so good? She's let me. Of course, the collar's still on here, just so I can push her head up nicely. Um, and then I've had to come under here and clip very close and look at this. This is the, what was initially, this was round her head, round her ear and it's coming down. It's right, it's one big pelt right the way underneath. So I'm coming down now to try and get this sorted here. I know you've been a very good girl. You have been a very good girl. You love this when it's all gone, won't you? 
Okay, you will, because it's going right under there as well, isn't it? It is. It's one big, nasty, big clump, isn't it? What a good girl. Yeah, good girl, eh? Good girl. Very good girl. It's hanging on now by a thread. <laughs> good girl. Can we stand up a little bit? Standy up. Come on, standy up for me. Good girl. Heady up. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get under there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Might see if I can get this from rolling her over and coming at her from her tummy. Good girl. What a good girl you are. Yes. Right then. Yeah, should we do a really poorly then and see if we can get this from the tummy side? Good girly. Good girly. So I've got her onto her side. Good girl. And I'm just trying to get into here now. You can see she's very, very pink under here. Okay, so this is where the mats are. They're pulling on her skin, and her skin is actually folded into a mat here, which is this big one. So we've got to be very, very careful here. Good girl. It's impossible to cut with scissors. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you, there's just no way. Yeah. You can go near a cat with scissors. It's the lethalest thing you can do. So it's the folds of the skin, is it? Yeah, yeah um, and because this is where the motion is with this front leg, these pelts have become one. And where they're trying to wash around her face and her ears, it's just all moulded into one. And it's become one huge pelt. And their skin is so thin. I'm going to be so careful. So she's got a big one here, right in the joint of this leg here. Which I need to get to. We'll put some tea tree on her later because she is sore here. Good girl, you are such a good girly for me. You are lying there. So this is another big one, see? It's another pelt. And again, skin, fold of skin. I know baby, sorry, I'll carry on because I don't want you on here longer than needs be. I know, good girl. So I'm right on the ends now with this little lady. She's had to have, you can see, we've had to come right up short with the head. So normally we'd go to about here and keep a nice bib on, but because of the severe pelting around her, we've had to come right up under her neck, under her chin line here, right under her chin underneath, down the front bib. So she's had to have a complete, very, very short line. So I've tried to keep a little bit of warmth on there. <laughs> oh, she's starting to shiver now, so I need to get her back in a little box. Mm -hmm. So she's all done. I've left the tail on so she's got some warmth wrapped round her. That wasn't matted at all, so I've just took the top two inch off round her bum and had a good brush up over of the tail. And she's just about to go back into a box. She's been so patient, haven't you? You have been so patient. You have, little one. Yes, I know. Just look at that little thing. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Surprised after two hours. There you go. You've been a long time here, haven't you? Hey. You have. And you've been a good girl for me. You have. Should we put you in your box and let you go home? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I think so. Good girlie.